Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through IRR that is nothing but internal rate of returns. So internally, how much returns you are getting? So that is nothing but your internal rate of returns. So let us go through your problem guys. This concept is really easy. Guys, these all problems, you should remember the formulas guys. If you are perfect with the formulas, you can just easily do the problems easily. Fine. Okay. So a project requires an initial outlay of rupees 1 lakh cash inflow. So it is getting a cash inflow of 1 lakh. Okay, so the cash inflow he gave, sorry, sorry guys, sorry for that. So initially the outlay, the money that he spent for the missionary or the project is 1 lakh. So the cash inflow is given here guys. For year, 4 years he gave 50,000, 50,000, 30,000 and 40,000. So he gave us to calculate the IRR. So basically before calculating IRR, we need to do 2-3 two, two, steps guys. So the first step is we will be calculating the fake payback period guys. So the fake payback period is nothing but initial investment by average cash inflow. So average cash inflow, we got the cash inflow. So just to do average of it. So 50,000 plus 50,000 plus 30,000 plus 40,000 by 4. So we got 42,500. Okay. So we know the initial investment is nothing but 1 lakh. So 1 lakh by 42,000 is nothing but 2.35. Okay. So basically 2.35 lies in annual table around 25 to 28 percent guys. So basically here in this question, he need to give the annual table guys. So it will be a large table in which we will be checking the point 2.35. So that 2.35 will be in between the table of 25 to 28. So the PV ratio you need to calculate for 28 and 20, so 25 and 28 guys. So in our previous lecture, we have gone through PV values, right? So present value values and present value problems. So similarly like that, you will be calculating guys. So here we know the initial cash inflow. You will be calculating the PV ratio. So PV factor, we need, this also should be given in the question or else you need to calculate it somehow guys. Guys, I have no idea that how we'll be calculating this value guys. If I am having any idea, I'll be just posting in the group guys. So the PV ratio for these two will be, you need to multiply them. So we got these four values that is for 25%. So let us be right here. This is for 25%. Similarly for 28%, we know that PV values. So you, we need to multiply this with this, this with this, this with this, this with this. Okay. So we got these values. So these are the values of PV ratio for 28% so the formula of IRR will be in this way guys so it is nothing but low rate plus present value low rate so that is nothing but this value by sorry minus cash outflow cash outflow is nothing but your initial investment by present value low, low rate so that is nothing but this minus present value high rate this so into difference in rate so that is nothing but difference in percentage so here 28 minus 25 so that's what you have written here guys low rate is nothing but the least value 25 percent so 25 plus 103760 minus 1 lakh by 1 lakh 3760 minus 98789 into 28 minus 25 so the calculation will be further divided in this way so we got 27.269 will be your irr percentage guys so I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So the basic question that even I am having is that how we'll be calculating these two values guys. Because if it is not given in the question, we'll be just stuck there. So if possible, I'm just searching online if there's any possibility to or any trick to remember them. So if possible, I'll be just posting it in the group guys. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.